Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the Mastering Probability. Now, the way you get that, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You hit Mastering Probability. You can get Steve's newsletter for one month, six months, a year, all with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Bottom line, in one month is $149. Six months is $695. That's a savings of $199 or 22%. A year is $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I'm trying to figure out where the last 49 weeks went oh, and how baby. they went so quickly. Isn't that intense? Three weeks from today, that's it, it well, for the trading session, it's, right? That, it's intense, it's, man. I mean, you know, we've been saying this for a long time, folks. You know, time goes quick. The older you get, the quicker it goes. But I'll tell you, man, it's freaking accelerating. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. So I thought what we could do is we could, you know, talk about 2019. Uh, it's, it's absolutely been the year of the bull. Yeah. And then uh, it, talk about what 2020 might bring. So cool. I thought we'd do that and, and start with that. So okay. 2019 um, really began at the end of 2018. And from a pattern standpoint, that's really what I want to discuss with you and, and our listeners out there. Uh, so 2019 began, and one of the patterns that you and I like to uh, take a look at is the A to B equals CD pattern. And this is a daily time frame chart for the Dow. And the beauty of the A to B equals CD pattern is the market does 75% of the workforce. What I mean by that, it identifies the swing points a, B, and C. In this case here, we go back. The top was October in 2018, or there was a high in October of 2018, and uh, makes the A to B. Now, in this case here, and somewhere in your book, I believe you say, well, I know you say, if there's a 1 to 2 A to B equals CD, you're going to see a change in trend. That's but I think correct. you feel the same way about a 1 to 1 1.618, which, right. which, which is the pattern that formed here. And it was really a perfect uh, A to B equals CD pattern. Now, for me, these patterns confirm when there's a bullish or bearish reversal candle. I heard you mentioned a uh, hang and man candle. In this case here at the bottom, uh, this was a nice big old bull sash candle. That was the day that we saw the Dow uh, move higher by a little over a thousand points out there. But yes. that set that that was the pattern that really began the bull market of 2019. So what else do we know out here? Well, we know that if we take a look at the weekly chart for the Dow, this is the same A to B equals CD pattern, but it puts in perspective the Gartley buy pattern, something that uh, both you and Larry uh, brought to us. And the beauty about a Gartley buy pattern is that all Gartley patterns have five potential outcomes. The first four have already been achieved, but those first four are retracement levels. And those retracement levels are outcome number one, which is the 0.382 retracement. Outcome number two is the 0.618. Outcome number three is the 0.786. And then you've got that 100% move of a move that you've got a royalty on that you've coined. And so the Dow has, has, has accomplished that and more. So what is outcome number five? Well, outcome number five is when the Gartley pattern, in this case here, Gartley buy pattern, turns into a new A to B equals CD. But we have to go much further back to identify the A point on a weekly chart. This is what we're taking a look at for the A to B equals CD pattern. So here, this shows the Dow with a one-to-one -one price projection in the A to B equals CD on a weekly basis, getting up to the 33 to 13 level. Now, on this chart here, if the markets were to continue moving higher, and what I'm specifically talking about, so on my A to B equals CD tool that I've developed, it's really important to maintain the exact same uh, angle of a line from A to B as it is from C to D. Okay. In this case here, when price is moving on the left-hand side of that C to D leg, it tells you it's an even stronger move than what we saw from A to B. So in this case here, the initial price projection would be 33 to 13, but that's the good news. And like the yin and the yang out there, there's maybe a detour or two along the way before we get to the 33. You got to see this slideshow, folks. If you're in your car, just go to the archive afterwards. It's awesome. He's got a detour <laughs> sign up here. Uh, uh, <laughs> totally. Well, because this is the kind of detour I think that we're probably looking at, yeah. which is really great because, and it's really important because I'm not saying this just because, uh, you know, I, 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 I offer a newsletter, what have you, or, or because of the show that we do, but I really believe that uh, making it through these markets 
markets over the next couple of years is where you and I, this is where our bread and butter, this is about pattern recognition out here in order to be able to uh, cycle through these uh, these uh, detour patterns out here. And speaking of cycles, it also means we should understand the annual seasonal cycle, which typically forms bottoms around the January 30th time frame and the October 13th. There's others out here, okay. but those are the most important. And then you typically get a top around January 6th and in the uh, May 19th level. Yes, there's some other ones, but those are the four basic turns that we see in the market on an annual basis. And if we take a look at cycle dates, which should really be used as guidelines, what we can see is that in 2019, the tops and the bottoms have arrived early. So the red arrows on this screen identify the actual topping dates based upon the annual seasonal, and the green arrows represent the actual dates for the bottoms. And what we can see here is that uh, these, these little humps tell us that uh, the time distance between when something happened and when it should have happened. So everything here, both tops and bottoms, have been occurring early. The uh, the, the top occurred uh, about 22 days early, uh, going back into that 2019 area. The bottom, 23 days early. The uh, top that we would take a look at in May, 19 days early out here. And so what I want folks to understand is all of those cycle dates have been coming uh, and and have been have been identifying tops and bottoms, but they've been doing it early, and so that takes us to where we're at right now. Because if we take a look at the Dow pattern, and here the Dow formed what I call a Rhodes momentum indicator top on November 27th, and that's about 24 trading sessions earlier than the January 5th time frame. Okay. So the patterns that are in place right now are really important to watch. Now, how are we going to know if 1127 was a top in the Dow? And this happens to show the S&P, the Dow, the NDX. Russell 2000. And my take is this, Tom, if we see the Dow trade above 28, 174.97, that was the high in November, what I would anticipate is prices are going to continue to move higher through the rest of the year. If it doesn't, and we haven't gotten above it right now, then my downside targets become perhaps another A to B equals CD to the downside or setting up another Gartley buy pattern. So there's two, right now what we know is that there's a valid top that's in place, but if that top gets taken out and because of the favorable seasonal cycle, what I would anticipate is that price would continue to move higher based upon that seasonality into the end of the year. And that outcome could lead to some really bad news. And the really bad news is when the Dow makes significant tops, it does it on its longer term charts, its monthly time frame. The bear market that formed in 2000, there was a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that preceded that. The same thing in 2007, the same thing that began the 2015 consolidation, the same thing that began the 2018 move, uh, bear market that pushed the price down into that A to B equals CD pattern we looked at. And that's when price moves higher and does with less relative strength out there. And when that pattern's around, if it does confirm, which it needs to confirm with the bearish reversal signal, there could be some really significant problems. And here are 16 of the 30 Dow stocks on their monthly time frame have all of these topping signals. And, and, and the reason why the road momentum indicator is so important is because of all the tops and bottoms. This is a chart for the Dow that it has identified out here. And therefore, if the Dow forms a monthly bearish reversal candle, what that says to me is that 2020, will be the year of a bear market. What a great update, man. And, and, and it's so cool about this, folks, okay? You know, this is factual, meaning that we'll wait Absolutely. to see what, what ends up happening at the end of the month. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You go into the newsletter, it's the maximum probability. Check it out, 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve, thanks so much, man. Have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank care. you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.